All right, y'all, so just a little tip on sun gazing. If you're new to it and you haven't you know, done it for a long period of time, I started probably like a month ago, and slowly but surely, I'm noticing that my eyes are starting to become more accustomed to it, and slowly, I'm able to look at it longer for extended periods of time and have started to notice that I'm adapting to it. But if you are new and you find a situation like this, where the sun is coming right through a tree, or it's being filtered by something, this is a great way to be able to look at it and expose yourself to it longer because you're not directly looking into it. Some of the light is being blocked, so it's not as strong or powerful. But basically, I've noticed that by doing this, I'm able to stare at it for basically forever. Like it's not, it's not taxing my eyes in any way. It's not forcing me to look away. Like sometimes I'll start to blink rapidly and try and just like, you know, focus on it as hard as I can. But I've noticed that when you find a situation like this, it's much easier to extend the period of time that you're able to look at it. So if you're new and you find a situation like this, definitely, definitely try it. And also it's about three in the afternoon. <clears throat> so the sun is not at its peak strength either. If it was in the morning when it had first risen or if it was at noon where it was the highest in the sky, obviously it would be the most powerful. So right now it's a great opportunity to, you know, try and break through a, a threshold and, and stare at it for longer periods of time. So yeah, just a little tip for you beginners out there like myself, um, just thought this would be helpful. So try it out sometime.